big problem on our planet. We've got a growing population and we simply haven't got enough feed to feed the animals which we in turn eat. We found a way that was more sustainable and cheaper to feed the animals that we eat ourselves. And that means cutting out, to a large extent, fish meal and replacing it with insect meal. If you look back in history when the dinosaurs were roaming the planet, what did the chicken or the fowl in those days eat? Well, they ate maggots and they ate grubs. And that's all we do, is we make maggots and feed it to chickens. We just do it industrially and we do it really big. The process is pretty interesting because it solves two problems at once. One is the sustainable production of animal protein and the other is all the waste that we as humans are creating. So what we do is take 110 tonnes of waste every day, sprinkle fly eggs on top of it, those eggs chow through 110 tonnes of waste every day and then turn it into about 20 tonnes of maggots as they grow, which we can feed to monogastric, that's animals with one stomach, like pigs and chickens. The remainder of that 110 tonnes is about 40 tonnes of soil conditioner. It's a pretty reasonable compost, and the rest of it, the balance of that 50 odd tonnes, was water that has harmlessly evaporated into the environment. obvious effects of us producing a tonne of mag meal means that almost five tonnes of fish are left alone in the seas to carry on reproducing. Every tonne of mag meal that we make saves the environment three and a half thousand US dollars. But holistically, the easiest thing to understand is that fish meal is typically caught 10,000 kilometres away from where it is used. Mostly, the fish are caught at the bottom of the world and then used in the middle of Europe and used in the middle of the Americas, 10,000 kilometres away from where it started. 